What's your drinking really costing you financially? Recently, alcohol.org used life expectancy data and the cost of drinks in different cities to calculate how much people spend on alcohol over the course of a year and a lifetime. Those living in New York, Minneapolis, and Miami all average close to $2,000 a year on drinks and $116,000 through their lifetime. Over a year, the cost of drinking adds up. Over a lifetime, it definitely does. Truth be told, these numbers are largely inconsequential when compared to the revenue or income you're likely living on the table because you're not operating at your best. You may spend $2,000 a year on alcohol, but you're probably missing out on generating tens of thousands of dollars or more because of the time and energy you're devoting to your drinking habit. Alcohol has been proven to sap your energy and slow down your brain's ability to process information. It's the phone call you don't make at work because you're tired. It's operating at 60% instead of 90%. It's the irritable boss who doesn't inspire his or her team. It's the project you keep putting on the back burner because you don't have the energy to tackle it. And let me, excuse me, let me remind you, it's not just the day after drinking that affects your business performance. Most toxins remain in your system for seven days, some as long as 90 days. If optimal performance is your goal, rationalizing drinking on Fridays and Saturdays and believing you'll be 100% by Monday isn't going to work. Studies and countless anecdotal evidence demonstrate that drinking affects next week and beyond. So let's take a cold hard look at the facts. What's your drinking really costing you? I created a popular online quiz called the Alcohol Lost Money Calculator. And if you're listening to this or watching this, you can take that quiz over at alcoholfreelifestyle.com slash scorecard. It allows entrepreneurs, business owners, and executives to calculate just how much their drinking is actually costing them in money. It's very simple. Let's forget for a second the amount of money that you spend on alcohol and alcohol-related activities. Instead, let's just focus on the amount of money you're not making because of your drinking. So here's the three-step calculation. Number one, with your drinking habits the way they are today, how much revenue did you generate in your business last year? Or if you're an executive and you're an employee, how much income did you make last year? Okay, what was your salary? So just write that number down. How much business revenue did you make? Or how much income did you make last year? Number two, I want you to consider this. If you were alcohol free and you enjoyed a clearer mind with more energy, less stress, extra motivation and laser focus, therefore increasing your productivity, your performance and impact and generating more business success by landing sales or clients or getting a raise or a promotion if you're an employee, securing a better job at another company, getting a raise, how much revenue or income could you generate this year? How much income or revenue could you generate over the next 12 months if you were consistently alcohol free? Write down that number. So to be clear, the first number is what you currently make with your drinking habits the way you are. And the second number is what you feel you could make if you were consistently alcohol free with energy and clarity and focus. The third step is just a simple subtraction. Subtract your first number from your second number. That's it. Subtract your first number from the second number you wrote down. And whatever that number is, that's how much your drinking is costing you in lost revenue or lost income each and every year. That number should be frightening to you. In many cases, it's tens of thousands of dollars for people who take this quiz. And for other people who are business owners, it's millions of dollars. If you'd like to Again, go through a quiz online and have the calculator calculate exactly how much you are leaving on the table by asking you a series of questions. You can go to alcoholfreelifestyle.com slash scorecard. What's your number? Take it in and think about it. Every time you drink, that's what you're potentially losing in average revenue or income. Those losses can add up to big numbers over time. That's money you're not generating or receiving but rather you're leaving it on the table. I personally squandered money for years when I drank, only to generate millions when I quit. I've created two seven-figure businesses. 
Entrepreneur Magazine featured me in an article about how I generated a million dollars in 12 months. And I credit being alcohol free with giving me the clarity, focus and confidence to achieve that level of success with my business. When you're clear in mind, you make better decisions. You make an extra cold call. You try an additional marketing effort. You put in the little bit of extra that changes the outcome. These things all help you succeed in business and generate wealth. And it's often the intangibles that lead to the biggest payoff over time. One of my clients, a gentleman by the name of Tim Steele, he won't mind me mentioning his name because he's very kindly been in testimonial videos of mine over the years. He's a commercial real estate lender who quit drinking with our Project 90 process. Tim says he was leaving a quarter of a million dollars on the table because of his drinking. This is what he said to me in a case study testimonial video he recorded for me a while ago. He said, I specialize in helping commercial real estate investors with loans, and with that comes a lot of cocktail hours. It was getting to be a little much. I was irritable the next day. I missed opportunities to turn prospects into clients. Hangovers don't leave much time to think, and without that clarity, I missed out on a good chunk of revenue. When I stopped drinking, I developed almost instant clarity and focus. I phoned more prospects. I was more intentional and clearer in my communication. I got to know my prospects better. I took the time to connect with them more deeply. Suddenly, I was signing more six-figure deals. My sales exploded. Another client, Amy McFadden, again, she doesn't mind me sharing her name. She's been uh, public with her success from going through our Project 90 Stop Drinking process. She has an interior design company in Boston. And Amy says she tripled her business within 90 days of quitting drinking. She said, quote, there are always evening events in my industry and I was drinking two or three glasses of wine a night. I was foggy at meetings the next morning and operating at a four out of 10. As soon as I was alcohol free, I was up earlier. I was more focused. I became really clear and sharp. I didn't shove things away and postpone them until the next day. I had better strategy, which resulted in bringing in higher level clients. And that brought in a surge of revenue really quickly. I brought my A game every day and I had to hire someone to help me keep up with the demand. I went from operating at a four out of 10 to an eight out of 10 within three short months. Jessica Gaines is a realtor from Louisville, Kentucky. She says the quality of her clients improved dramatically when she went alcohol free. And another realtor, a woman by the name of Susie Vaughan, says she doubled her prospects and increased her close rate by 20% within 100 days of quitting alcohol. For salaried employees, quitting drinking can lead to meaningful relationships with colleagues uh, and clients, and ultimately to promotions bringing increased salaries. One of my clients, a gentleman by the name of Job Worley, he was a plant manager at a company for four years, working 12 hour days, six days a week. He was drinking wine at the end of the day to cope, which resulted in high blood pressure and poor sleep. Then in November 2019, Joe says he was fired. Now this could have been a disaster for him, but instead he had a look at himself and he chose to make a change. That meant getting alcohol out of his life. Here's what he said in a testimonial video he recorded for us. He said, quote, I set up a huge war room in my basement and started calling the hundreds of contacts in my phone. The response was overwhelming. Former colleagues and supervisors that I had not spoken to in 15 years were willing to help. Before long, I had more job leads and networking meetings than I could handle. It all led to my dream job, program manager with a family-owned custom wood office furniture company in Grand Rapids, Michigan. As an avid woodworker with a small business out of my garage, I found where I should be. The old Chinese proverb comes to mind, do a job you love and you'll never work a day in your life. It all started for me with going alcohol free. I helped the company improve how they launched new products and ultimately transitioned to help drive continuous improvement, my specialty. As a result, I was recently promoted to a director role. One more client, a gentleman by the name of Scott Thompson, 41, tripled his salary from 150,000 a year to 450,000 a year and transformed from being a salesman to a company partner within 18 months of living an alcohol-free lifestyle. The 41-year-old father of four was head of sales at a $5 million annual revenue market research competitive intelligence consulting company based out of Washington, DC. He'd been there 10 years and said he felt he was in a rut. When he quit drinking for what he thought would be 90 days, 
by the way, he's now 18 months and counting. He said everything in his life shifted. He said, quote, I just kind of woke up and realized there's got to be something else out there. I stopped drinking, got clarity and focus and started performing better at work. My performance was fantastic that year and I helped grow sales from 5 million to 8 million. I soon realized I was worth more than what they were paying me and outgrew what I was doing. One of my customers offered me a new job, which I accepted. I'm now a partner. I have ownership and the ability to have control over my future. I'm leading the firm and will make $450,000 this year. I went from a sales guy to running and leading a company in 18 months. Big jump. So there you go. That is the direct and indirect cost of drinking and how you can improve your business or your income, generate more revenue or income in your profession by embracing an alcohol-free lifestyle. And I invite you to take that quiz over at alcoholfreelifestyle.com slash scorecard. Thank you so much for listening and watching. I'll catch you on the next one.